This work by Walter Battis is called The Early Men. Battis spent the best part of two decades finding, researching, documenting and publishing the works of, of the rock artists of Southern Africa. He became a noted authority on rock painting and rock engraving and self-published five books on the subject through his own publishing company, the Red Fawn Press. At the age of 32, he traveled overseas for the first time and he went to go and study the rock art of southern France. While he was there, he came into contact with the work of the European modernists like Picasso, Matisse, Gauguin, Van Gogh and others. He was profoundly influenced by this and on his return in 1938, he painted this work, The Early Men. The work merges the modern vision that he had become exposed to with the rock art that he was devoted to. Like the modernists, he does away with the illusionistic representational art in favor of a more abstract, two-dimensional approach. The figures are informed by the formal qualities of the rock artists with their elongated forms. 1938 was also the year that the new group was formed. This was formed by a group of young South African artists whose aim was to raise the standard of South African art and also to create awareness of these progressive trends already well known in Europe. Battis was selected by them to, to represent them and also to organize the second exhibition um, of the new group in November 1938. This important work has since been exhibited countless times across, across the country and also appears in, in much literature on Battis and South African art.